Sabe? Hum. Foi essa. All right, Shalom. We got a Hebrew Israelites from the Indianapolis camp of the Great Millstone, and we're here to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashir, Yahushak, Bashir, with Kakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone who move well in teaching us this 100% truth. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the hopeful elect of the 12 tribes of Israel scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like a the stuck a bird, and they are as follows. The tribe of Judah, the so-called Negroes. The tribe of Benjamin, the so-called West Indians. The tribe of Levi, the so-called Haitians. The tribe of Simeon, the so-called Dominicans. The tribe of Zebulon, the so-called Guatemalans and Panamanians. The tribe of Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. The tribe of Manessa, the so-called Cubans. The tribe of Gad, the so-called North American Indians. The tribe of Reuben, the so-called Seminole Indians. The tribe of Nathalie, the so-called Argentinian Sicilian. The tribe of Asher, the so-called Columbus Uruguayan. And the tribe of Issachar, the so-called Mexicans. You say Shalom. Shalom. All right. Uh, was it a couple of weeks ago? They tried to uh, 
put us in a bad light with that uh situation in uh man, what was that? Uh, yeah, with the car. Remember the Jake ran the people over. Yeah, Wisconsin. He said he wasn't trying to run the people over, but they painted a picture like he was just under the influence and just being all all out evil and wicked. You know what I'm saying? He said he wasn't trying to run the black people over. You know, but then he tried to tie him to the to the so-called black Hebrew Israelite. You know. Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice say in the heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of, kingdom of our power and power of the voice. So the accuser of our brethren has passed down, which accused them before our power day and night. Okay, that's what he does, accuse them day and night. Like, uh, every time you, you, you look at the news, when something goes wrong, you know. This picture on the news, okay, and will not only show us right away, but go all the way back into their history, you know, where you had to sit in the corner in kindergarten, you know, doing all types of crazy stuff, you know, and they're accused us this constant day and night, accusing us day and night, you know, constantly putting that propaganda out uh, on us, okay, uh, putting us in, the, in, the, in a bad light when we're in the righteous, okay. This is Proverbs 4 16. For well, they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away unless they cause them to fall. Like you said, they sleep not unless they cause them to I mean, they, they, they never, you know, always around the clock, okay? Around the clock, we can be special for the You know? Even with this, with this so called two situation, you know? They're doing all, all types of wickedness, you know? They, 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 they cannot sleep. Unless they're doing something bad, unless they call for somebody to be you know, call them down for them. All right? If I can add to what the brother said, even when they call themselves doing so-called good, they still terrible, so to speak, man. They, it's like uh, I was watching them, uh, Yashima was video earlier, how they was making these, uh, what was that that uh, uh, get their drugs, man, and shoot up. All right? Safe. Safely uh, uh, take crap, and safely take heroin. They was gonna give them clean needles and things of that sort, and they called that mercy or or, or, or whatever they was calling, man. But what it said in Proverbs that the, the, to, to the mercy. Oh, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 10. A righteous man regardless of the life of his beast, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. Cool. Yeah, like I said, the tender person of the wicked are cruel. That's right. And just like he was going into these drugs, you know. Listen, uh, all these uh, pharmaceutical companies on TV, they, they try to come they, they give you a drug to correct one thing, it is causing 17 other million uh, side effects. That's right. Okay? That's right. And they don't go for the, for the cure of the problem, you know, they just cure the symptoms while causing uh, problems, other problems. Let's try your dose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for, uh, for stomach ache, nausea, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, sleep is right. But side effects are your eyeballs fall out, yeah. your tongue swell up, your throat close up, your legs fall off, you know what I'm saying? Your arms get amputated, your hair fall out, you know what I'm saying? The side effects are worse than the actual problem. Right. Right. But it's, but it's so far been approved by the FDA though. Yeah, look at that one, uh, you know, all of them, you know, and, and that was being sold for the side effects. All right, look what they tell you, you should uh, experience blindness, numbness of the tongue, loss of healing, immediately pick up the phone and call your doctor. No, 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 they said if an erection lasts more than four hours, they call your doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overdose of. Side effects they do the what? The speed up so they don't get through, you know? Yeah. Those people's like fine friends. What's on there? But it goes to show you how much you call the demon because their their medicine were actually prescribed for heart patients. Uh -huh. Then they found out that, you know, it, it, it increased the blood flow and to your, you know, your your, your uh love muscle. You know what I'm saying? And then they started charging you what? Arm and leg. So when it first started uh hit the streets as, as a uh 
a set sex drug, it was like a damn near a hundred dollars a pill. You know? Go ahead. This is Joe 13 and 4. Positions are low value, you know. Positions are low value, and that's no value, you know. Once they're giving us, it's a poison. All right. And we're not supposed to be taking that stuff anyway. Nope. Right. All right. And it goes into if you go into that word doctor, it means to falsify right. pretty yep. much, man. So they, when you doctor something up, that means you just mixing shit together. You don't really know what it is. Mm -hmm. All right. You don't really know the long-term effects. I was even watching how they was before the crack epidemic had it happened. They was uh, 13 before it happened. 13 years before it happened, they were shooting, uh, making monkeys, uh, uh, crack addicts, man, yeah, yeah. and then released them to the streets. All right, for for you Negroes, Latinos, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, it was all like a planned thing, man. All right, so they before they even uh, released it on the street, they was uh, uh, and like the uh, the school was UCLA, or I, I think that was the school where they was uh, making monkeys smoke crack. All right, 13 years before they even. Uh, out on the street, man. All right? Yeah, because yeah. the white people back in the building, right? Right. Then they had Nancy Reagan claiming the war on drugs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because what? They was making money off, off the east side of man. East side of Florida, I guess, they could, you know, to, uh, get strong out on it, you know what I'm saying, to kill itself and part of this whole population. So the they flipped it around and made money off of it, therefore, he saw it got made. And as the world too. That's right. Get up the wrong stuff. Or uh, manufacture stuff. And you know, the uh, so-called elite, you know, get a slap on the hand, but you still pure stuff. That's right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, yeah. well, the chapter two, verse one. Woe to them that divide iniquity, work evil upon their bed. God says, Woe to them that divide iniquity. That woe go to destruction, all right? The Bible and Nicky, that's sin upon sin upon sin upon sin, okay? But, in the morning of life, the practice is because it's in the power of your hand. Ah, that's like saying in that morning, that's all day, you know? They can practice of the power in their hand, just like the scripture says, Job 9, 24. Everything given to the hand of the wicked. You got that? Yeah, got it. It's, uh, Job set the path. <laughs> no such a time, verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. God given into the hand of the wicked. And who is the wicked? We saw it from the court of the mouth of the church at the All right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not where, and who is the God? So he covered the faces of the judges thereof. And who is the head judge? The is the head judge, and, and how did they cover? Well, the description of it is given in Revelation uh, 1, okay, verses uh, 13 through 15, telling you he's a dark skinned man, all right? Just telling you that. Iconoclasm, yeah, iconoclasm, when the Renaissance period, you know, went, went and knocked all the noses off, we, we painted you know, all, all the pictures, okay? White, whiten them up, you know? He, even on the, uh, uh, the 1611 uh, KJV online, they show uh, uh, King James and the so-called Peter White in the front, then when you look in the background, it's the actual book in black and white. But you won't, if you're not looking at it hard enough, you can't tell. All right? They used to have a picture on the internet. I used to have a picture. I got it in one of my old Bibles, but actually, <laughs> It's a picture of King James where they tried to whitewash it, but part of his forehead was still blunt. Mm -hmm. And I actually had that picture. Mm -hmm. This is one of my old Bibles. I don't know where it is, but, you know, it, it, the forehead, part of his forehead was actually blunt when he tried to whitewash it. And they used to have it on Google, you know, the Google images. But this is like back in uh, 2010, 2009, 2004, 2011, but they just took it down, you know. At the end of that scripture, he said, who is he, where is he? Okay, but that is, so, so we know, you know, the fact that you change those pictures, we know who you are and we know where you are. All right, and that, that goes to you know, what I'm going to say, the earth 
Rich been giving to the hands of the wicked. So you, uh, no class alone, trying to say that the Edomites have gone away with, you said you be ruling at the end of the world. Another precept of that. This is Mac First Maccabees chapter 1. Um, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, So Alexander reigned 12 years then and then died. And his servants bear rule everyone in his place. And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after them. Many years and evils were multiplied on, in the earth. Ah, that's, you know, evils were multiplied on the earth when he died, okay? All over the place, wherever they went. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, to add to that, man, because that's like, something that Joe might have been important because they they came to rulership. All right, the so earth really went downhill, spiral downhill after that, man. All right, so to where we at this present state, where it's just terrible to live on the planet Earth right now, man. Everything is mourning. All right, everything is out of out of course, man. Uh, animals are doing things that they've never done before, like they got. Honeybees, they prefer raw meat instead of nectar now. Things of that nature, man. That this, this world that we're living in is crazy, man. All right, so this the, under their rulership, things have become what fucked up, man. Pretty much, man. All right, everything's out of order. That's right. That goes down to the. Being Jew, okay. When we when we come into that authority, you know uh, that the, the, the world's going to rejoice. You know, he even said that the trees are going to rejoice when this uh, Esau Edom is out of rulership, okay. And the people are mourning right now. You know, look at what's going on in Australia. They can't go nowhere. Locking them down, shutting off their bank accounts because they won't take the money. All right. All types of all types of people losing their jobs. You know, they had all of these healthcare uh, uh, individuals. Working directly with this stuff uh, all last year when, when there was no uh, so called uh, juicy juice for it. All right? And now, you know, they're kicking them out. They're kicking them out. So you can type a hypocrite that I saw in the list. All right? This is the Proverbs chapter 28, verse 12. When the righteous man who rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Kind of, it's like there's going to be a great glory when, when, when the righteous man uh, uh, is, uh, is rejoicing. Okay? And when, like I said, when that wicked, when the wicked man uh, rises, a man is hidden. He don't want to be around him. Okay? Trying to get out of his way. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, go not into the way of the man who has the power to kill. Because that's, that's, what, that's what he does. Proverbs 29. Uh, Proverbs 29, verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, mm. transgression increases, <laughs> but the righteous shall see their fall. That's right. Wow. Just like you said, just like when we see Paul in that first Maccabee, you know, when the wicked, are, you know, uh, are multiplied, the transgression are increasing, and that's that transgression is breaking other law. Okay, which is sin, and we, that, that's what he's called in the man of sin. All right, and it's increased all over the earth, you know. Look, look at all of the, you know, uh, uh, doctrines that they have other nations doing. It's like the brother, just, just people that have left their customs, right. okay, doing, doing this business. All, right. all, all kinds of, you know, uh, abominations, man on man, woman on woman, okay. Even, uh, even, uh, 
Proverbs 22, verse 2. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of all of, of them. Read that again, brother. Man, slow, slow, yeah, slow it down, brother. This again. is Proverbs 22, verse 2. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of all of them. God, he says that the rich and the poor the Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent, this is verse three. A prudent man for a prudent man for see if the e for see if the evil and he hit and hide it himself. But the simple pass on and are punished. Okay, it says that the prudent man can see if evil. You know, the simple man can see if bad times. Okay, that's what's the idea. Okay, I'm trying to bad times that I come. All right, and we stay away from that. That's what it means about behind ourselves. You know, we don't go in the way of that evil. All right, all right. but the simple, who is the wicked two thirds and the other evil, you know, they're gonna follow right along with uh, uh, the ways of our society, you know, okay? And they're gonna be punished. That's that ultimate destruction. All right, new, new, uh, 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 the new food. <laughs> okay, missile food. Missile food. Yeah, yeah. right. Uh, definition of prudent, having or showing careful good judgment. God, and, and, and you know, having or showing careful good judgment, how do we judge? You know, by knowing these scriptures. Right. Okay? He says, you know, uh, you know, judge according to the, the scriptures, whether a man is rich or poor. You know, it doesn't it doesn't matter what offense it is, you judge good righteousness, you know, according to the scriptures. Alright?
understanding what's going on with, with the prophecy. You know, you know, you know, to see that and, and be a watchman for our people. You know, right? Tell them of their transgressions. the coming boys from uh, the dive, up. This is uh, Proverbs. Show them one, brother. Show one. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 31. He that oppresseth the poor reproacheth his maker, but he that honoreth him have mercy on the poor. God, he, he that uh, uh, oppresseth the poor reproaches his maker, and that's, and that's the thing. You know what you're saying? You're going to have that, that righteous indignation against Esau. That's what it means. He says, Jacob, I love Esau, and Hinton. You know, and he's going to be against the most high. They get so drunk, they, they walk out in the traffic and get hit by a car. Because why? They, they are sorrowing, they're, they're sighing and crying, but they don't know who to turn to. That's why a lot of them just turn into atheism. You see what I'm saying? Because they're like, like they don't understand that they're under the curse because we've been disobedient to our heavenly father. They don't understand it. They just look at it like they were born and just a bad hand or a bad deal. Like that's it in life. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Verse 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Who do who do that? Esau. Uh, the so-called white man. Right. You know what I'm saying? The the the, uh, the modern day slave catches out of the police force. Then you got your uh legislation, uh, you know, your legislative uh branch, judicial branch. All all this is set set up against us to what keep us dead. 
down and further be oppressed, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time we think we get a, a step ahead in this life, we not. It's always something, like, like the scripture says, we earn uh, wages to put in a bag full of holes. You can work 80 hours in one week. I don't care if you make $40 an hour. You know what I'm saying? You can work 80 hours in one week and always something come up to where you spend that check. You know what I'm saying? You be like, yeah, I, I worked all this overtime. I'm finna give me some new shoes. But as soon as you get paid, something happens. Car break down, your family put you in a financial bond or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta spend your overtime check and now you left broke again living paycheck to paycheck. You get what I'm saying? Go ahead. Our end is near, our days are fulfilled. And our end is near. Like it tell us in uh, what's that, uh, Ezra? Better the end of a thing than the beginning. See what I'm saying? Hey, we looking forward to the destruction of this place. Why? Because we know we're going to come into power and it's going to be everlasting peace and harmony. Yeah, yeah, the birds. When the kingdom of heaven is established, then the birds are going to start singing again. Then the flowers are going to start blooming again. Honeybees are going to actually make honey again. You know what I'm saying? Not, not, not sweet milk. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. So the Lord has broken the staff for the wicked. You know what I'm saying? What's the staff? The, the power, the rulership. He has broken that of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Like I tell you, John 9, 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Who rule the earth? The so-called white man. We're just going to tell it to you plain. The so-called white man. We got to tell you the truth. That's what the Lord told us to do. In the Bible, you're known as Edomites. That's your nationality. Edomite has not been done away with. You're still here on the earth. You're still here in Indianapolis. If you don't believe us, look at yourself in the mirror. You see what I'm saying? You're the Edomite. You like your state bloody. I was watching the movie the other day, and Edomite said, I want my state so rare, uh, you can use CPR to bring it back to life. You see what I'm saying? Is that not Esau? You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. Who do, who doing that right now? Why the people in continual rap? Esau. Our people is coming up dead left and right, man. Dying at an alarming rate. See what I'm saying? This football player just, just died not too long ago. Thanks to who, Esau? See what I'm saying? Rappers getting killed. Thanks to who? Esau. Your, your, your local uh, people in the neighborhood getting killed. Thanks to who? Esau. He put it in the minds of our people to what? Kill each other off. Why? Because of his laws and policy. The drugs that he put in the air. The chemtrails. But he lied and said, oh, the uh, contrail. Uh, smoke from the airplane. That's a lie. You know what I'm saying? That's a lie. Jet fuel don't leave smoke. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. He that ruled the nation of anger is first And who, who ruled the nation of anger? Esau. What did Biden say? Our patience is getting thin. He's angry. <laughs> See what I'm saying? The Bible is real, man. You got some more? Verse 7. The whole earth is at rest, but it's quiet. They break forth into sin. Yay, the first tree is appointed. And that's what America's saying. See, see what I'm saying? The pride of America. We, we can't be touched. We can't be stopped. That's why they're playing them for the year 3039. All the year 3039, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. See what I'm saying? Everything that happens to America, everything that's happened to America has been America's uh, made. You know what I'm saying? Any type of calamity that came up to America has been done by the hands of America itself, man. Just like 9-11. All these false flags is because of what? The homegrown terrorism. Who's the number one? See? That's a prime example. That car back fire. That's what you're going to hear pretty soon in the streets of America. Number gunshot. Like you rappers like to put their song. Yeah, that's what you're going to hear pretty soon, man. See? Go ahead. That's it. Okay. Oh, oh, that, oh. <laughs> <laughs>
Limitations of the foe. Verse 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Yeah, and they do that. Hey, what's part of that? When they, when they set up martial law, or they, they uh, uh, put you on curfew, curfew the lockdown, like they're doing in Australia. They under martial law. You know what I'm saying? They can't go outside unless the government said they go outside. They down there treating them people like guinea pigs, man. Right? Oh, yeah. See? That's hurting your structure, man. Pretty soon that's coming to America. But have you noticed you ain't heard no more about these jobs mandating the, the juice yet? Why? Because behind closed doors, Esau's coming up with another plan. That's why these numbers are spiking all of a sudden. They want you to enjoy your last little Christmas, your last little hoorah, and then after Christmas, guess what? Lockdown. Reality finna start setting in. Gas finna go up to $5. They playing with the gas now. One day it's three dollars. One day it's three oh five. One day it's three twenty nine. One day it's three forty five. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They they grooming and preparing you people for what? Destruction, martial law, your civil liberties and rights being taken away from you. But you people is in La La Land. You see what I'm saying? Y'all just going with the flow, going on to get along. Sorry. That's why they call you goyim or sheepy. Yeah. Go ahead. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled. For our end is cut. That's right, our day is fulfilled. This is our last captivity, man. That's it. This is them. what you say, bro? <laughs> That's it. That's right. This is the last hurrah, man. That's right, bro. We will no longer go into captivity as a nation of people no more. All right. All right. See what I'm saying? This is it. <laughs> so for you people that came into the truth and fell out the truth, you're a fuck idiot, man. See what I'm saying? Because why? The Lord gave us the winning lottery ticket, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we out here doing this for the 144 uh, billion dollar lottery ticket, man. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Oh, you got, you got one more point. Uh, verse 19. Our persecutors are swifter than the eagles of the heaven. Who is our persecutors? It ain't Jerome down the street. It's these Edomites, so-called white people. That's our persecutors. Matter of fact, hey, it shows you in the court system. You know what I'm saying? What you got, the, the prosecuting attorney, the, the, the DA, you know what I'm saying? They what, persecute you in the courtroom. You, you can be innocent as all hell, but then they'll trump up all these charges to what? Get free labor out of you. Let's lock them up for 80 years. Rico See what I'm saying? And what they do, they do to jail. Oh, after he didn't serve 99 years of prison, D DNA evidence proved that he was innocent. Right. We're sorry. Let's give you this check for forty thousand dollars. We sorry. This, this, no. Costa Rica. What? That's, that's Dominican, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you, hey, you're not left out, man. You're, you're an Israelite, bro. Where are you from? 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 Well, we from, you from Israel, but we were brought over, over here against our will, man. Yeah, there you go. Get your, get your little two minutes of fame, man. Get your little two minutes of fame, man. Hey, love you too, buddy. Hey, hey, show the brothers where you from, man. <laughs> All right, have a good one, man. God bless y'all. Hey, hey, yeah, don't, don't, hey, hey, don't, don't smoke motor. No, don't smoke motor. No, no, don't, don't smoke motor. No. That fucking red rose for that fucking red rose. I am lost in my area. No. Yeah, look. No, 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 hey, watch the car. <laughs> look, look, that might be your last time you're looking, you're going to hit, get hit by a car. Yeah. But that's all from the Esau. We'll see that, though. 
Back to what we were talking about. Jake is trying to escape their father. You know? He's homeless, walking around with a can of, of sardines. sardines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? High as hell. Yeah. Go ahead. Who, 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 this is all. Uh, 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 they say uh, they pursued us upon the mountains. They wait. They lay wait for us in the wilderness. Yep, and that's what they're doing now. They still lay wait. Hey, what's up, man? We got a coat now. Ain't yep. no beard on. He's sober up. Yeah. Yeah, he's better. Yeah, he do. He actually doing better. Go ahead. This is Isaiah chapter 47. I'm going to start at verse, verse 6. It said, I was rough with my people. I have polluted, I have polluted my inheritance and given them into the hand, into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. It says, And thou saidest, I, sh I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay those these things to thine heart, neither didst thou remember the latter end of it. All right? He said he was wrong with his people. All right? He transgressed the law. Okay. He scattered us to the nations for that. You know, he said he was his inheritance. You know, he took on their ways. All right. All that wickedness, all their abominations, you know, and he gave us it into their hands. Okay. We didn't want to worship him, so you know, they say here, you go with them. Right. Okay. He gave us to them, and and, and and you didn't show no mercy. No mercy. Hard. Still not showing any mercy. Hard right? to paint, boy. You know that's why the scriptures say, you know, uh, show no mercy for the ones who show. I think that's the thirteen. Yeah, I think that's it. They said they show no mercy, man. They, yeah. And they didn't, man. And they didn't consider that by not showing no mercy that hey, you was going to have to pay for all that. Because you didn't consider the latter end of it, man. You didn't consider that we was his people, man. And that he was going to come back for us, man. You didn't consider none of that, man. All right, so you're going to have to pay for all that atrocities that you've done to the Israelites, man, at the end of the day. You're going to have to pay for all that, man. All right, go ahead, man. So we show
against us. That goes all the way back to when the, when the blessings were given out. You know, you had it in for us, not only because you sold your birthright, you know, you played victim. And that's how we know that's you today, okay? You played victim when, when you're the one who did wrong. You, know, you sold your birthright. And then got mad when, you know, when, when I took uh, out. You know, you had already sold it. Second uh, Ezra chapter 15, verses uh, 56. Like as thou hast done unto my chosen, said the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, even so shall the most I do unto thee, and shall deliver thee into mission. God, God, so like, like you said, you know, like, like you have done unto me, who was his chosen? The nation of Israel. Okay? You know, you have uh, this habit on us from day one because of that first month. Okay, now I need to do what I'm still with you. Now, second answer is chapter 15, verse 57. And thou shalt fall through the sword. Huh? Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword. Hey, that's right, because hey, Y'all by Shemel Shai is done playing with you, Esau, you know, man. All right, you, you, you done ruined the children of Israel out here, man. Yeah, we transgressed against the Lord, man, but y'all, once again, came with that continual, continual rap for this, man. All right? Yeah. Have it right up. The Lord is going to be trying to Thy city shall be broken down. Shall be broken down. So, I mean, it's going to happen. It's not like, well, I might think about throwing y'all city down. He said it shall go down, okay? And all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. And all of thine shall perish with the sword in the field. Alright? So the, the, the Lord is coming what? With his nuclear missiles, man? All this other artillery that he has? He's got tank, jets. All that is up the most high. Alright? These are all his chess pieces. Okay? He, he, he's the one that gave these, uh, the people the, the technology to do what they do, man. Because he's the creator of everything. Alright? So he's going to use those are his arsenal, man. Hey, the scripture say what? The Lord is a man. that be in the mountains shall die of hunger mm -hmm. and eat their own flesh. Right, so the gas be gone. And drink their own blood for very hunger of bread and thirst of water. See, that's right. Hey, hey you think you're going to go hide out and uh, for those people that what? Don't take the, take the, flock the, 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 the potato shit. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? That Pringle. Yeah, the Pringle. You know, don't take the Pringle. You know, you're going to go out that way. Right, man. Right, and, and that's what's going to happen to you. It's a, it's a horrible. Hey, man, you better not be any other nation besides Esau, right? Mainly, of course, being the righteous, you know, that'd be the best case scenario for you. But even those who are other righteous, they're going to die the death of the heathen as well. Right. So, like I said, the Lord tells you these things shall happen. Your city's going to be thrown down, your city's going to die of hunger, you're going to start to get the of the second workplace. All these collections are going to happen to us. what they have done to us. All these things are promised. And that's why he set us up to come out here to proclaim it to you. That's why we come here and we wagging the hand and shaking the hand in the gates of the moment. We condemn you. We tell you all from all your atrocities that you have done. All right, so the children of Israel, not for what you have done to the whole earth. Like we were just speaking earlier, you, you were given the earth, and this is the hell you did. Destroy it. You know what I'm saying? They're saying, destroy them, destroy the earth. Exactly. And the only person that fits that, fits that uh, pretty much that uh, the uh, description is Esau and them. Because they the ones who run everything. Yeah, you got various kings of the nation, but they all answer to Esau and Edom. So they have to unite the nation. So who's at the head of the, the table? Who's the head of the council? Right. Where's the headquarters? Right? Esau and Edom. So all y'all, all those nations have got a damn deal. Even them, they got, they have a, a what you other about that, uh, people. Even with them, even them, why, what happened? Oh, you don't like what they say or what they want to do? Sanctions. Yep. Sanctions on health, yep. sanctions on that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So not only are you doing that to us, but you've been oppressing the whole entire earth. Right. You know, and even though they don't, they don't, they don't say what they found, but the people are winning 
for the earnest concession, the earnest, the, the earnest creature went for the members of the manifestation of the sons of the living power. That's right. The people, the earth, all of existence is waiting for the children of Yahweh by Shemar Shah to be set up in leadership to rule the whole world, the whole, the whole earth, the earth, the earth, the whole earth, the earth, and even the galaxy in itself and righteousness. That's right. That's right. So the time will come where, yes, many great mysteries are happening to them in the land of time. Many great busies coming in the latter times. We are in the latter times right now. So that means what? Things are not going to get better. It's going to keep getting worse. It keeps worse. It gets worse until what? That great day of judgment when Yahweh Hashem Hashem brings His judgment on those who are allowed for that judgment, and also bring salvation to those who are allowed for salvation. Right. And what will we be at that number? Likewise, as the brothers and sisters who are tuning in as well, tuning in after. So like I said, man, prepare yourself. Bad times are coming. Times are coming, it's not going to get better. It's going to continue to get worse and get worse until this man is taken out. So as long as this man is in power, the world is going to be born. Everything. Creatures, trees, even the air, the air can speak. Tired of this thing. Right. You know, like, everything is tired of this thing. Uh, this man is in power. That's why we got to continue. We got to have the faith and, you know, endure to the end. And then what's going to happen? The Lord will send up one that's going to be profitable over, this, over the earth. Over the universe. That's going to be the, uh, the children of Israel. Right. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you speckled birds who look like the heathen, but the seed line go back to Jacob, to the 12 tribes of Israel. This is uh, the book of Job 21, verse 30. It reads, the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. All right? And, and that's, what, that's you know, that day of destruction is near. If you're seeing all the signs, the chariots, in the sky, you know, you had wars and rumors of wars. Uh, the brother just uh, put in the chat the other day, what was that in, in Oklahoma alone? All those earthquakes? Oh, or, uh, Oregon, 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 yeah, yeah. Diverse earthquakes, you know, all over the place, all right? And it says it's going to get uh, 55 to 24 hours. 55, and they were all well, four. Four on the Richter scale. Yeah, yeah. And then it gets a little more than they did. All right. Okay. And then, uh, continue verse 30, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. And, you know, like the scriptures say, you know, he's going to draw them out. But that's good. Uh, the valley is the also pattern, okay? It caused all that destruction, you know, over in our, in our homeland and, and, and over here. You know, this, this place is just no more existence. You know, it's destroyed fully. That's, uh, America's going to be an altar. The Lord comes back. All right? Verse uh, 31. Who shall declare his way to his face? That's the prophets out here. Okay? Us on the highways and byways, week in and week out, doing the video epistles, okay? We're going to declare his way to his face. Tell him what he has done. Let him know that, you know, he's the only nation on earth that will be shown no mercy. Okay? All right? He says, and who shall repay him what he has done? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. By the hand of his people. Okay? Yeah. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 25, I'm going to start at verse 12. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance, and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom, and will cut off man and beast from it, and will make it desolate for tea man, and they have dated as shall fall by the sword. God, you said you should to make it desolate, destroy it. Okay? He's going to destroy you for all the, the, the things that you've done for us. You know, and, and like you said, when you defend yourself, it's because of that first fight. That you sold. You sold and you planned victory. You sold your own birthright. And now you're mad. And still mad. You're not going to have that devil after life. No matter all, all this AI technology, it's not going to happen. Okay? You are, are trying to do something that, you know, that's, that's, that's out of your hands. Okay? 
And you're trying to do it against his people with this jab, with this, with this uh, uh, MO. Okay? Yeah, the Pringle. Like what you're saying, too. Like, didn't say Eagle, right? Yeah, That's Eagle. what I just said. It, it, you ain't another nation besides them. I mean, being another nation besides Eagle, you're going to be cool. Yeah, you're going to go to the Captain Seat, you're going to get your ass beat. But then you're going to understand that it's going to be taught the ways of righteousness. And if you saw Eagle, at the end of the day, Captain Seat, they get done to play that. They're going to make that destiny. They're going to be, they ruled out the face of the earth. Right? right? So, yeah, you know, hey, this, this is the horrible time to be an Edomite. Matter of fact, it was a horrible time to be an Edomite, period. In all, in all of existence. Because why? Because the spirits are ancient and they reincarnate and regenerate and regenerate. So if you was an Edomite in your past, right, you come back as one. That's right. Right? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. You better off, I said, of course. Like I said, you're going to pray that you're going to You know? But other than that, you saw Edom, man, your end is destruction, slavery, and other destruction. Yet shall he be brought to the grave and shall remain in the tomb. Remain. That means never coming out. Okay? So like so like we said in that previous uh, couple of verses too, I say, so y'all have a reservation for destruction. Right. That's what's important to you. That's destined for you. It's a structure. Ain't nothing you can do. Ain't no hey, because you're only some soft repentance, you know, with tears. And even with that, what happened? That wasn't honest. That wasn't great to you. You know? So like like brothers like the scripture say, yo, and as an either my your reservation your reservation, you were reserved for ju judgment, ultimately destruction. To be taken out forever. Because we gotta that, that's what this cleansing that's come with the new the thermonuclear missiles and the contrary laser beams we it's to, to cleanse the earth and the main cancer and the main virus to to the earth is your either bite. Right. And you gotta get keep done away with. It. Hey, hey, you saw, you know, you saw my wife, you had, you, hey, the Lord gave you a job to beat our ass, you know, you are the sword that the Bible speaks of, but hey, hey, your employment's about to run out, man, all right, and you get, you got a set date where your contract's up, man, and the children of Israel are going to come back to the palace, follow my you know, follow on the house, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his forty months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Mm -hmm. God, bounds he cannot pass. And you know that. That's why you're coming down with great ground. Because now you know your time short. Therefore, rejoice in heaven, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because you know what they have had for the short time. Yeah, so we have to be chosen to rejoice, okay? Because we know that this time is, is coming to an end. Okay, like the scripture say, you know, when the wicked uh, are ruling of the people more, that morning is about to be over with. This time is short. That's why he's working fast. This this, this new uh, 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 variant, you know, they let the cat out of the bag last summer. It wasn't due until May. It wasn't supposed to hit until May of this year. Okay, and now it's hit six, six months ahead of time. And get this too, in, uh, in Houston, it was found in the, in the water supply. You know, yeah, this this this, this stuff is magic. You couldn't you couldn't test for the second one. So how the hell do you know what this one is? That's because you putting it out there. Just like you put it in uh, uh, Batman again, put stuff in the water supply. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, old y'all may not remember the hard way. You know the same same thing with what they do in Flint, what they did in Flint with the water supply. Yeah. Back in ancient Rome, they had lead in the water. Yep. Right? The same people coming back. We are Rome all over again. But the back of the brothers said, you know, y'all been putting the power and authority, and the only thing that you have built with that power and authority is destroy the whole earth and everything that's within it. That's all you have done. That's right. This is Book of Sirach, 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, 
the kingdom is translated from one people to another uh, because of unrighteous dealings. Okay. Uh, uh, does all types of wicked stuff. Hanging. Taking all the uh, Jake. Yet this is a nation supposed to be built on the foundations of the Bible. Right. But you can say, what have you done? To, uh, oh, yes, yeah, declare by statute. That's right. right. See, y'all hate instruction. Y'all hate instruction. Y'all, so let me put y'all hate the righteous instruction. So what you do? You, 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 you render out your wicked instructions to the people. That's why I say, uh, when we read earlier, uh, when the, oh, oh, when they came into power at, at the Maccabees. Yeah. And right. evils are supposed to fight in the earth. Right. So guess what? If you if you are the earth, if you are the wicked and the earth is getting into you, the only philosophies, the ways of life, the doctrine, the only thing that's gonna come out is gonna be perverse and perverse and wicked. Right. That's the only way that the standard of the whole earth is gonna live by being you being the wicked. Right. Well if it was of the if the righteous was the authority, then the whole vibration of the earth would be with it, and the righteousness of the wicked are the the vibration is wicked. Right. 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 Got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. God, and, 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 and in that, you know, it's, it's only a two sentence verse, but it's going against everything in the law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, Sorry. the unrighteous deal, you know, how you treat, you know, that brotherly covenant, the injuries, the hanging, the burnings, okay, uh, trial beatings, yeah, shooting in the streets, and you know, the, the, the rich has gotten by deceit. You know, all these hidden taxes, usury, yep. okay? Right. Uh, and everybody, you know, call themselves a homeowner, but you miss uh, a payment. You miss right. those taxes. Right. It's going to be taken just like that. Uh, and, and even with that, you got eminent domain, okay? They can come claim your property um, just because they want it. Hey. All right. And if you, they want it, you pay your house off, you got to keep up with the property tax. So guess what? You lose it. <laughs> and, and he went on to say that because of those things, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. This this place cannot continue in wickedness. Because, like the scripture said, you know, no flesh will be saved. All right. So because of that, you know that that, that you know the, the, the kingdom is going to transfer from Esau to uh, Edom to Jacob. Sorry, name of Israel. James 5 and 4. Behold, the hire of the laborers which have reaped down your field, which is of you kept back by fraud. For sure. Crying. And the prize of them that have reaped, oh, have reaped, are entered to the ears of the Lord of Sabbath hope. You know, and, and in a nutshell, you know, you've uh, done so much fraud and deceit. Uh, against us, you know, this uh, scripture is pretty much saying, not only are we sick of your shit, you know, the Lord is as well too, that's right, okay? He's sick of all your shit. Right. He's sick of it. The whole earth, everything's sick of it. Right. This car's sick of it. The flies, they sick of it. They sick of it. Yeah, everything's, everything's sick of it. Uh, like I said, you, like everything you have eaten those those witches for the last days, and what you have done, you have the product of, you have product of food. I mean, the user economy. Ain't nothing you fools ever came down for y'all, your high seat, your high horse you came and put some work in, manual labor. Right. Right. But no, you assign people to do things just like you do in, uh, in California. That was all done. The, the, uh, the payment was, we don't get to kill your ass, you get to receive in the hut. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you didn't get nothing for that. So, Brown, of course, you can't get some of the, you can't pay the house nigga or whatever it could be, but he can still, he still is a slave. Right. right? So, everything, these people, they think about money. So hundreds of years ago, 
they got they really got old money. Right. People think uh, they got 50k, 100k, or a million dollars they can buy this for car. Or I was like, they do a welfare pay. Yeah. These people work trillions. Yeah. Not just tens of trillions, yeah. hundreds of trillions of dollars. Yeah. Right. That's it. That's all they get. They can get that from those unrighteous dealers. Interest. Got to buy this And then we're finding out that you know. Even though slavery was technically a bond, they found they just found something something going on in Georgia yeah. right now. Yeah, and, you know, in, in the state of Georgia, so slavery is still going on. That's Free labor, uh, paying like twenty cents for a bucket of onions. Yeah, right. each bucket, and they had to dig it with their hands, no tools. Like he, he said, free labor. Yep. Uh -huh. So it was free labor. Uh, we did it for free, but your pockets got filled. Up. Yep. And, and guess what? It was two hundred million dollars they made. Yeah, see? That's how you make it rich when you, you got people working for next to nothing. Just like in the prison system. You get put in prison, and guess what? They got you working on the highway projects for 10 cents an hour. This All right? Not on the prison system. You know, I'm doing jobs today. I, I think uh, Brother Hotspot, uh, they, they make a $200 million while we make making like $13 an hour or something like All right. that. It's some astronomical number. Yeah. You know, they're making all this, all this money. And I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. Uh, uh, you said I will lay vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people. And that's that's what we you know we we get that power back. You know, like you said in Jeremiah 16, we're going to be hunters and then we're going to be fishers. I'm right here with you. Go ahead, that off the way. And they shall do it, eat them according to my anger and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, says the Lord Yahweh Bashikah Oshah. He said, He will do it, eat them according to his anger. What is his anger? That's your total annihilation by the hand of his people. Just like it said in uh, uh, Obadiah 1 and 18, you know, we're going to come together, round you up, after you've done your slavery, you know, twice as hard, twice as long, right. and you're going to be turning the stubble. That's right. All right. Preset. Thus said Yahweh Bashemel Shai. That's wrong. Right. Right. We got that out of Jeremiah. This is Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, said the Lord. God, and those fishers are us right now. Right. You know, out here on these highways and byways, you know, pre pre preaching to our, uh, our, our people, showing them the way of our transgression, also prophesying the dog calling this place. That's right. All right. And they shall fish them, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right. So once you get that spiritual power, okay, all these space stations you're going to, all these bunkers you're going to, we're going to have that spiritual power to come dig you out. We're going to know where you are. It's not going to take any fancy GPS. Right. We're going to know where you are. Right. You know, by the hand of the Lord, you know, he said, every, he's in control of everything. All right. Right. So he's going to put that in, he's going to put that spirit in us. You know, we're going to be seeing right through this rock, all this rip and stuff. And come find you and take you out. Right. Put you in that slavery. Rule you by that rod of iron. Put right. those jokes upon your neck. It says, only to knock your nose off like you That's right. Go ahead. It says, verse 17, For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They, they are not hid from my face, neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. God, he said, his eyes are upon all their ways. You know, just like the scriptures say, his eyes are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. That's right. You know, that's what the angels are reporting that for every single individual on this planet. You know? Everything's being written down to that dead stuff, whether it's good or not. All right? Verse 18. And first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double. Recompense. What does that recompense mean? Pay back. That's right. Double. All right? So if we, you know, I, I, they say our slavery is going back by him just longer than that. Because he, he, he saw, you know, you were... You know, when we came out of Egypt, that was you, Amalek, attacking us from the back. So your stuff goes all the way back to our first captivity. You know, burning down our temples. You know, taking our riches. You got them over in the Vatican right now. All right? 
So everything that you've done, you said recompense you double. So if you was hitting us for 2,000 uh, uh, years, you're going to get it 4,000. That's right. Twice as hard and twice as long. Because they have defiled my land, they have filled my inheritance with the carcasses other detestable and abominable thing. God, you know, the defile the land. Look what's going over there in the state of Israel right now. Okay, what is what is going on right now? They have the, 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 the biggest, uh, the biggest, uh, 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 um, yeah, the, the biggest, uh, they call it the vaccine, the, uh, the house of it, uh, the parade, you know, okay? And like you said, the father's inheritance, you know, put forth and everything that we eat, okay? Put these wicked customs going on, you know, shoving it down their throat and, 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 and telling them that, you know, if, if you don't agree with it, then you wrong. You know, like the scriptures say, you know, you call uh, 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 good evil and evil good. All right. All right. Brother Nadab girded it up. It's a Psalm chapter 58, verse 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Ah, and then the man shall say, Verily there is a reward for the righteous. Verily he is a power that judgeth the earth. Mm. Right, so in a nutshell, that's what we're doing. We hasten the day of the coming of the Lord. Sorry. Because this is what he's gonna do. The brother just read, you know. By the hand of his, of his people, he's going to avenge himself against Edom, okay, for, for all they've done. He said, the righteous shall rejoice, you know, because right now, you know, especially for a lot of Jakes, you know, they don't think there's any hope out here. Uh, you know, y'all been saying that for years. But, you know, we see you saying, you know, lots of times in the season, but that's how we know. The Bible still got big, wondering, you know, they, they think going back to the way things was, was what's the living the best life, you know, and that's, and, and that, that's not the case, you know, he said, you know, things were written before time for our learning, but we may have comfort, all right, we're coming out of this mess, all right, we're going to rejoice, all right, and he said he's going to judge the earth, that's the everybody, okay, the righteous and the wicked and the uh, uh, remaining people, okay, this is the book, of Revelation chapter 12, or like uh, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. God, it says, and he that led into captivity, who took us into slavery? Whose rulership have we uh, been, in, been under directly going back to the uh, Going back to the Greeks, okay? Who led us into those captivities? I do. He saw Edom, right. okay? They said, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Who was blessed with the sword? He saw Edom. And right. we find in the 27th chapter of Genesis. Uh, uh, he was blessed with that sword. And that sword, you know, back then it was the actual sword, but now it's the modern day gun. Any type of weapon that causes pain or death. Right? You're going to be killed. I'm just saying, you're going to be killed with the sword. So those missiles, you know, if you're thinking of shooting somewhere else, they coming back on you. Right? You're killed with your own stuff. All right? So here is the faith and the patience of the saints. Okay? Who are the saints? Those are the Israelites. You find that in um, Psalm 148, 13, 14. I guess I'm real quick. Okay. Well, that's the law. Ezekiel chapter 21. No. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stilleth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. God. So he that still the man and sell him shall be put to death. That backs up that scripture. You know, he who led to captivity was born to captivity. He who killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. And uh, what's your favorite one I like to, uh, you like to, uh, Colossians 3 and 25? Oh, he that do a wrong shall receive yeah. the wrong which he hath done. That's right. There is no 
respecter of persons. No respect that's, right. person. that's right. That's right. You know, you're going to get back what you need. All right. And let's go back to the same person. Is that right? Psalms chapter 138, verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all, the praise of all his saints. Even all the children of Israel are people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. That's right. So the saints are the nation of Israel. Okay. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even all the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. So, so the saints are the nation of Israel. <laughs> Jeremiah 1 and 5. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. God, he said he sanctified us, okay? Sanctified means you are separate, holy, okay? And ordained us as a prophet. And what does a prophet do? Let's say it does. He says the things before they're going to happen, okay? And as the scriptures say, you know, uh, uh, the Lord do nothing. He revealed the secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yep, Amos 3 and 7. Amos 3 and 7. And I think that's a new uh, 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 says the beginning of the He spoke about the prophets. Okay. And real quick, because I'm going to jam my one and five. He used something. He knew us before we even thought in our parents' eyes. Hey, that this is this son that I'm going to raise up is going to be the prophet of the nation. He's going to ordain. We didn't have to go to school to learn this, man, because it says you go what, through the Holy Spirit, man, not go to a seminary school. foundation of the world. We were created, sanctified, set apart, made holy. And now he's bringing that word back to us. That's like he said, that's the only way he's done it, by the mouth of his prophets. So when you Jake's out there saying, well, that's, uh, that's, that's man's word. Well, no, it's his word, but through the people that he selected. That's right. Okay? What is that? This is the book of John, chapter 15, verse 16. Red letters, that's right. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, nor day you to go forth and bring what you should go and bring forth fruit. That your fruits are in Now, what's where we shall ask the Father my name? They give it to you. He says, He has uh, not chosen me. So, people in these hard houses, you know, running up to that abomination of an altar. You know, I gave my life to the Lord. I'm saying, no, you're not saying. Okay. Yeah, it's time to get the paper of the Yeah, you say, right? You are not saying. You know, I, I, you know, I, I chose the Lord today. No, like the scriptures are saying, He chose you. That's right. You didn't choose Him. Right. They got a backwood waiting for me. Right. Yeah. At the church. Right. What you say? Celebratory, celebratory I told you, hey. <laughs> say, the Lord chooses you. That's right. He brings you out of that bad. He brings you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Uh, it's the Lord that does that. He says, 
saying? We ordain, you got the word ordain. Ordain you that you may go bring forth fruit. Okay, and once that bring it, that's bringing in that fruit, all right? So, so ordain. Go ahead. Well, this is the word ordain, and it's very good. Uh, this is from the very Webster, or Webster definition B. Destined or ordained. Ah, that destined. Okay. But like the scripture says, you know, you are you are predestinated. Right. Okay. I got that. Got it. Yeah. The uh, book of Ephesians, uh, chapter, chapter 1, verse 11. And whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. Ah, he's he, he, he predestinated us. You know, like the scripture says, you know, Israel is his firstborn. Okay? Before the foundation of the world. He predestinated us. Alright? This is the book of First Peter chapter 2, verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy okay. a holy nation. A peculiar people that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. Ah, he said we are a chosen people, a priesthood, and then that priest has been a service to him, okay? He called us out of the darkness, and that darkness is the ways of this wicked place. Into the light, to understand it his way. Right. All right, it's marvelous light. Meaning our light is like no other, okay? And that, that light is also the small steps to the mountains, right? Okay? Calling us back to uh, our original uh, heritage. Okay? I'm just going to sit on the The word is not that it's lost in that creepers. Right? Okay? Go ahead. That's it? Yeah, you are. Second Ezra, chapter 6, verse 9, it says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it. Nah, it says, for Esau is the end of the world. And the right. prophets out here, you know, we're seeing the signs and the wonders, you know, when he said that the end is manifest. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're seeing all that right now. So, who is the end of this age? Esau, Edom. That's right. Okay, so-called white man. He is the end of this age. Right. All right? And then he says that Jacob will follow after that, meaning us, the nation of Israel. Jacob and Israel, you know, his name was switched to, uh, his name was switched from, like, from Jacob to Israel in the uh, 32nd chapter of, uh, of Genesis, okay? I Meaning he is the prince of power with God and has prevailed against men, All right, okay? Go ahead. I got uh, Romans 9, uh, uh, yeah, Romans 9 and 11. It says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of Yahweh according to Election might stand not of words, but of him that called. Ah, that's why he, he, he called us from the beginning. He said, not yet born. So our, our purpose is already in our sense. You know, uh, before, we, before Jacob and Esau came out of the world. Okay? Like he said, there was a vessel for honor and a vessel for dishonor. Hey, to, to back in the report right quick, you said about the elders to serve the younger. That's why in Ecclesiastes we said, I have seen a servant for the horse, and the church is there, walking the servant for the horse. Yeah. 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 
and it reads, I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking and servants upon the earth. And that was one of those uh, statues that was just taken down. You know, you had Jake and Dad, next to, I think it was Theodore Moses, and Ryan Moses. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they just took that statue down. Uh, yeah, Esau's going to get out of the reset button and try to redo this. Well, we need a second chance to get this right. No. But it ain't going to work like that. Nope. Good. 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 Gather all the tribes of Jacob's seven and land down there. That's where you begin. That's coming back to our original state. Back in this rulership. You know, you said the world was made for our sakes. Okay? Our sakes. And that's putting us back in rulership. Alright? O oh Lord, have mercy upon the people that is called that is called by the, thy name. And and upon Israel, who thou hast made thy firstborn. God, he says, all uh, 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 upon thy people. Okay? Who is this people? The nation of Israel. It says that right there. Okay? Thou hast made thy firstborn. You know, he said that uh, first, and that's his firstborn. Alright? Israel, his firstborn. Okay? From the foundation of the world. Exodus 4 and 22, and thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. Alright. Firstborn from the foundation of the world. Okay? Is elect. To whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. I'm on. All right, so if any man speak, then that knows this oracle. That's the one doctrine. Okay? It's a, it's a, it's the oracles of your house. The doctrine as it is. No, no private interpretation, no adding to, no taking away. All right, I don't think we can this. Uh, Getting out, he said, I'm letting through the building with the house given. Okay? Every every yeah. man out here has this portion, okay? I guess. Every man has this portion. So don't be trying to indulge yourself. Alright? This second Peter, chapter 1, verse 20, it said, No is this first, then no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. No private interpretation. So, you know, don't be taking words, twisting, 
Don't be removing scriptures. Don't be adding stuff. Okay, it is as it is written. It said, for the prophecy came not in, in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh spake, as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. God kind of had this move going to our earlier, Jeremiah 1 and 5, and then uh, Luke 1 and, uh, 1 and 7. Huh. You know? Also, Acts 2 and 7. You know, the Lord did nothing. You got it? Just the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. I thought it was verse 1, actually. I thought it was verse 1. This book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, against you, O children of Israel. Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up of the land of Egypt, saying, You only have, I have known of all the families of the earth. That's what he said. You only have a family that know. You know, he says in the second Amos, uh, uh, six and uh, I feel you know you have to respect for nothing. You're better than that, all the other nations. Okay? You only know the nation of Israel. Alright? Only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore I will punish you for your iniquity. God has been shown us to get living. Okay, the, the, the commandments, all the commandments is only given to the nation of Israel. That's why we're being punished. Right. Okay? We broke the law. We transgressed the law. All right? He, he's known us through his ways, through his justice. All right? Can two walk together except they be agreed? Will a lion roar in the forest when he have no prey? Will a young lion cry out of his den if he have taken nothing? Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no den is ground? Shall one take up a snare from the earth and not take it nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people will not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city that the Lord has not done it? And that, and that, that trumpet is a warning. You know, like, like the scriptures tell us, you know, if we lift up our voice as a trumpet. Okay? And like you like said, if you know, have uh, done the city and the Lord has not done it, you know, like the scriptures say, he, he creates uh, the uh, he creates the right hand of God. The Lord is like the heart of King Mountain. Okay? So when you hear you on the Lord of the Spirit all the time, you know he's not. Okay? He says this is great and very terrible. And all of his power. Okay? Verse 7. This trouble is being blown for what? A very good time. He, 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 he playing what? A uh, Christmas song. You know what I'm saying? So he's not born in trouble of the Lord. He's born in trouble of Satan, man. Right. 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 So, verse 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Right. That's what he said. You know, he's, you know, his word. God, you know, he, he need to come down and no. He gave that uh, to his prophets. Okay? He so said he will do nothing. He will reveal the secret to his servants, the prophets. Like the scriptures we read in our Luke, you know, since the beginning. He, is, he has spoken by the mouth of his prophet. Okay? That has never changed. It's still the same. It's the same yesterday and today and forever. Okay? He is the Lord. He changes not. Okay? Right. So all the people are saying, you know, this book is big by man. No. It is, it, it, it is uh, inspired uh, to man by the Most High. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. That's all right. Okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 6. The great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wine into it, and give thanks to the Lord in his presence. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he minister. God, we all know what he said, you know. 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 That's what secrets he can build. Things that most people can't understand. You know, they would be looking at the same scripture and they can't get it. You know, you could point it out to them and they can't get it. That's because the most high has not revealed it to them. Well, it goes back to the beginning. What is it? Read the first beginning again. Please ask us chapter 39, verse 6. When the great Lord will. When the great Lord will. Right. It got to be his will for you to get to God. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we always say, Lord willing, we're going to do this and do that. Right. It has to be the Lord's will. Come here. Uh, 
He shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. He shall pour out wise sentences. That's why these days, that's why them churches, that cluster of church practice. <laughs> that's probably what the Lord will for me. You know, what did he say? He said, we got to find something that we can't counter. See, yeah. we cannot counter these guys, but they wrong. <laughs> we haven't studied it. Right. <laughs> we're wrong. We're wrong. We're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's all I had to say. I'm going to buy it to my client, but they wrote it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. It's up to him. So you can't get any from him who's willing or brother. It's up to the court. How about you? So if the Lord don't want you to put the spirit in the gifts, you're not going to get it. No. Unless he was named, you know, before he fell through the wood. That's what he said. He gave that one to the Lord. And he said, he was going to give it to him. And then when he came, he said, it's a heartbeat. You ain't got it. You ain't going to get it. You know how to find it. That's right. You got that? See, look, that's great. There you go. 11 to 7. It says, what did Israel have not obtained that which he's seeking for? But the election have obtained it, and the rest were blind. Yeah, like you said, the, the rest were blind. Everybody's not going to get this. The election has obtained it. All right? And you're seeing that every day. You know, all these, all these platforms, you know, a lot of them have the name wrong and all this stuff. Yeah. But they know, they know that they've been chosen for this one. Okay? Go ahead. According as it is written, Yahweh have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that should not see, and ears that should not hear, until this day. That's that understanding. He didn't give them understanding. That's all we can right. do. Also, that's why I spoke to the parables. Yep. Spoke to the right. That's all right. Hey, that's, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you want, I want to get it, but the Lord wants you to get it. Yeah. You do. Yeah. I'm going to speak above y'all head, man. All right. So, but the elect are going to catch it, man. That's right. All right. Go ahead. Hey, look at that. Uh, anybody say what the last week? Oh. What did he say? Uh, 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 four, uh, four on my knees. He said, yeah, yeah. On the mountain top. Yeah. yeah. That was a fucking Christian uh, parable. Parable, yeah. It was a Christian parable. It wasn't meant for us to get it. Right. It wasn't meant for us to get it. He thought that was a mic drop. Yeah, yeah. He, he thought it was deep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is why I'm falling over here. We got to go. I'm going to give a car. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> But that don't make no sense because the scriptures say, uh, uh, uh someone on the city on the hill still should not be here. It's not be here. Well, so he went against the scriptures. Well, hey, the scriptures do say he that commits the dust, 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 he that commits the Nothing else, no private interpretation. Right. I don't know what you're saying, I don't know what. 
including uh, uh, specifically Esau, you know, but all the other nations too. Hey, how about you know, how about you know the Lord didn't care about his name, call him by name. No, 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 God has said they are nothing. Nothing. Okay. nothing. Right. So when you care about somebody, you know what I'm saying? When we're doing a good job, like, hey, you don't care about Jim, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Lord, like, hey, you can't have a dude over there. You know, get up and go over there. Right. Yeah, whatever. Right. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. 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 <laughs> oh, man, go ahead, bro. Hey, <laughs> just like Jim right there. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 You're walking up the street in the middle of the road like he's a cop. He or she, whatever that is. <laughs> yeah, like a spittle. So that's like if you walking down the street with a cup of water and you got condensation on the cup and it falls to the ground, oh, that ain't nothing. You know, just keep on walking. You're not going to stop and try to grab their back up. You get the rest of the water. No, it's nothing. Like the brothers, like the brothers of them, like the brothers of them went to a drop and fall from the bed. It's a lot of sand. You know, you drop the fall. You know, that's that's not going to be a good one. Alright? You said, no, no, no. Man, he got a low ride of Lincoln. 
sacrifice of the devil. You know what I'm saying? They finna pass they self through the fight. Yep. They finna be playing with toys that they bought for their kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's that hard, but they still finna celebrate Christmas. Christmas. Yep. All right. Yep. All, right. all, all that. Yep. All right. All right. All right. If the world now is made for our sake, why do we not possess an inheritance with the world? Uh, I'm also, uh, you see, you know, the world cannot be honored. Why do we not possess an inheritance? But we transgress the law. That's why we don't have it. Now, we do. Yeah. It's coming. It's coming. How long shall this endure? How long shall it endure? Like I said, until he comes back. All right? Until he comes back. No man can save us. You got to wait on your house by showing on the shot. Come back and save us. We did it. The Holy One of Israel. Got to look a little real quick. Isaiah 40 and 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. God. All nations before him. All or nothing. He has his chosen. So what does that say about everybody else? Okay, and then and that's the thing our people don't get. We tell you that you're the nation of Israel, you know, and he's telling you that everybody else is nothing. That's why they're trying to bring you down. What's that saying? I can't have you can't have me. So he said, the Lord said that you can't send us. Next question. 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 Next question.
Integration was the worst thing to ever happen to Israel, man. Right. We should have kept it uh, uh, segregated. Right. But when, when America desegregated, that was the worst thing ever, man. You know what I'm saying? Because even back then, so-called black people had some sense of pride and they knew who their enemy was. See what I'm saying? They, they had more unity back then. There's a division of the nations of the whole earth. He sent a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. Mm. Whom, being his firstborn, he nourished with discipline and given him the light of his love who have not forsaken him. Says, therefore, all their works are uh, as the sun before him, and his eyes are continu continually upon their ways. Mm. None of their righteous, unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before your help. So it's going, it's going into like, you know, we talk about how the other nations are as nothing, but his eyes, you know, he says Israel is, is as the apple of his eye. Those are the ones who he, he really care about. And as the brothers that went around and said, like he gave the love, like the love was keeping us commandments. He gave that discipline and that love to the children of Israel. Oh, last last part. It says, but the Lord. Oh no, that was. Hold on. 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 Uh, yeah, this, that made me think about uh, uh, that song. Remember how the church was singing, his eyes on the sparrow? I know he watches me. Yep, that's it right there. And I know he watches me. Watches who? The nation of Israel. Right, right. That's the only one he's, he's concerned with, man. Right. Like the brother said, that popped in my spirit when you read that, about his eyes on the sparrow, and I just looked it up, you know. He only watches uh, Israel. I was say, uh, you were uh, more important than Vinnie Sparrow. That's right, uh, Steve. All right, go ahead. All right, well, hope the lesson was edifying for the body. And once again, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kaka Dush. Again, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great right. Millstone who do well, right. teaching us this 100% truth. Right. Salutations to them and our fellow Akim who labor in this truth week in and week out on the highways and byways. Also, salutations to the whole elect of the 12 tribes of Israel, for your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, scattered to the four corners of the earth that be like to respect the bird. You would say Shalom. 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 Shalom.